Good morning everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I think I haven't really ever said what my name is, so I know a lot of you already know me, but I will just introduce myself and tell you that my name is Suzanne. And I sometimes call myself the other Suzanne, because I'm not the Suzanne in the UK. Uh, that's pretty clear by my accent, isn't it? So anyway, my name is Suzanne, and I'm here this morning. It's Saturday morning. It's about 11 o'clock. It's a bit grey, but it's warm, and this is actually the first grey day we've had in, I think, seven days in a row. And so silly me decide, oh, I know what I haven't done. I have to turn the light on. Let me just do that. There we are. I hope that's better. Silly me. So much fiddling with everything else and then I forgot to turn the light on. So I hope it's a bit better. I've got the babies right at the window too, which I always do now, um, to try and get as much light as I can for you. But anyway, let's get started properly because now I'm all discombobulated and mm, silly. Anyway, so I am Suzanne of Baby Bunting Nursery and you're looking at my babies, my Pippa and my Jonty. And they are in oh, the most gorgeous outfits. I just couldn't believe it. I bought Pippa her blue one first. Actually, I bought it in blue and pink. And then I just happened to come across Jaunty's, which is the same fabric, exactly the same fabric, but in a little boy style. So it's still a romper. He's got little buttons down the front. And it's, it's got like, it looks like braces, but obviously it's not braces. It's all one piece. And it's just a little, so the, the pants part of the romper is the same blue fabric as, as Pippa's romper. So I'm very happy that they're in matching outfits, because as you know, that's what I like to dress them in if I can. And um, John T's little romper has got a Peter Pan collar. It buttons down the back and it buttons between the legs as well. And I've just tucked up the ends of the little shorts because they were quite long on him, let me show you quite long and I thought they look cuter when you see that. They are a newborn size but that, I don't know if they're meant to be like three quarters or I don't know what length they're supposed to be but I just thought they were cuter just tucked up so I've tucked them up and it's got two little buttons as decoration as though they're holding the braces on on the front and the little shirt part is a very fine lawn. It's beautiful, beautiful material. So that's my jaunty and he's got a dummy in his mouth and it actually fits. It's, a, it's sticking out a bit from his mouth, but when you look at him from this angle, you can't tell. And I could just cut the end of the teat, but I really, you know what it's like. I don't want to cut it. I'll show you what it looks like when it's not in his mouth. It's um, just like that. So I could cut it. It came in a two-pack, but I really don't want to cut it. So I'll just, I just put it in his mouth, and it looks fine from the front just sticking out a weeny bit from the side but it's not bad, it's cute enough so that's him with his special I think it's a rubber rubber all in one piece dummy kind of a brownish orangish rubber so that's my little boy John T and now next to John T actually in between John T and, and Pippa is my darling um, another jelly cat I've had this one for a little while the other Suzanne, not me, <laughs> the other Suzanne in the UK from Suzanne's ba Babies, our auntie Suzanne sent that little, uh, what is it, I think it's a mouse, yes I think it's a mouse jelly cat, he's very cute and the twins are happy to have him there between them. So let me tell you about Pippa's outfit now, it's um, the same fabric as Jonty's which is a, it's a fairly thick kind of cotton and it's got white um, spots on it but they are part of the fabric like they're woven into the fabric and she has um, three buttons to, to change her nappy and she's got some stunning smocking at the top of this little romper absolutely beautiful smocking and then above the smocking she's got also a Peter Pan collar but it's got three pale blue spots embroidered onto each side of the collar and then she's got um, little puff sleeves just to finish it off and hers buttons down the back as well very practical if you had a real baby but I reckon you would never put these clothes on a real baby unless you were going to a wedding or something and they had to be super dressed up but yes I doubt you'd really wear, use these clothes oh unless as I always say you have a nanny or a housekeeper or someone to do your washing and your ironing then it would be fine 
I've put a little um, headband on Pippa as well that's just so cute. It's made with, I bought it because I can't make these things anymore, but it's made with um, mohair wool, fine mohair wool, and then the person who's made it has threaded white, well, I guess they're white, pearl beads onto it. Um, I think there's three on each strand and they're all together in, in the middle of it and it just ties at the back. So it's really good for her little head or for, for any baby's head because you can adjust the, the um, length of it. So that's what the babies are wearing and I guess that's, it's good because they're still in blue for Autism Awareness Month in the US. Um, so they're in blue and um, I might, one of my um, subscribers who watches my videos um, said that she likes me to zoom in and show things because she can't always see the detail and that's absolutely right so I am going to try with each of my videos to do a bit of zooming in so you can see so let me see if I can zoom in a bit more on um, John T, oh Pippa, I beg your pardon, on Pippa's little outfit there you go, can you see that? there's the um, the smocking and her collar, isn't that beautiful? And I don't know if you want to see anything else. The problem is this camera is very attached to its stand. There's her little face. Let me see if I can just go up enough. There you go. There's her little headband. So I hope that's a good look. And would you like to see a bit of, of Jonty as well? And his little outfit? There he is. There's my boy. He looks a bit sozzled, doesn't he? Like he's had a ton of milk and he's just... Well, milk drunk, isn't he? He's just sozzled there. He's very happy and fast asleep. So we might zoom out. No, that's the in direction. This is the out direction. There we go. So really, that's probably all I wanted to, to say and show you, is just these babies. And just something else I've been thinking about. You know how I always say, take, take care and be kind to each other? I, I believe that when you're kind to people, kind things happen back to you. So obviously that's not the only reason to be kind, but your whole life changes. Like everything's better when you're kind. Nothing's yucky or nasty, certainly not that comes in your direction. And um, I think, you know, if you're mean to people, that's all you get back. You just get mean and mean people being mean to you. So I think if we can all just be kind, it would make such a big difference in the whole wide world. Just imagine it if everybody was nice to everybody else and didn't need to be unkind and put people down and decide they don't like some sorts of people and you know other sorts of people are inferior and all that kind of nonsense. Everybody's the same. We're all just the same people. We all have the same feelings, the same fears that we all want the same things. We all want to be loved. We want to feel safe. We want to feel that you know we have a roof over our heads and enough to eat and enough money to pay the bills. And um, we're all the same. So how about we just be nice to each other? It's much easier than being mean. Let me tell you, it's much easier. Oh, anyway, there you go. You got your little lecture for the day. Sorry about that, everybody. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing my babies. I think they just look so, so sweet in these outfits. They'll probably stay in these for a few days now because really I don't want to change them, which is the same old story as always. But I've got other outfits I will like to put on them too. Um, at the moment I'm working on a beautiful, beautiful Levi for someone. He's just gorgeous. Oh, love him. Wow, it's been brilliant to work on him. It's, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about Bonnie Brown kits. They're just fantastic to work on. They're so real. The vinyl's beautiful. And just the shape of everything that you get to paint and all the details the creases, everything. I'm absolutely loving it. So he's coming on beautifully and I'll be sending his mummy some work in progress pictures because at last you can see that I've done something. Because you know what it's like when you're painting. You put so many layers on and you know, no one else can really see what you've been doing. And then all of a sudden it just seems to come together. So that's the stage he's at. So that's all. That's what I've been doing and Easter's over and it was lovely and um, I keep finding little bits of chocolate around the place from my grandchildren, little bits of little crumbs of chocolate that the vacuum cleaner's missed or my dusting has missed. And um, ah, yes, anyway, it's all fun and games, and they loved it, and I had the most beautiful, relaxing day. Oh, it's the best thing to be with family. I just 
really love it. It's just wonderful, wonderful. So yeah, it was a lovely Easter here. It was warm, the weather was perfect, and oh, it was just a lovely, lovely Easter. And my grandchildren are still on school holidays because they have another week and a bit, I think, because... Is that right? Have I lost track? Hmm, okay, I better stop talking because I think I've lost track. We have another public holiday on Tuesday for what we call Anzac Day, which is a day that commemorates um, the Australians and New Zealand soldiers who have fi been fighting in, in previous wars. So a lot of the old soldiers have gone now and um, the march, the people who march are getting younger from you know, current wars or wars more recent than the Second World War. So that's a public holiday here. And let me think, oh yes, this must be the end of the school holidays and I think the children might go back on Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. Anyway, it's lovely. There's less traffic out there. Everything's calmer. It's just very nice during school, ho school holidays. Plus, I get to see all my babies more often, so that's very nice too. All right, my dear, dear friends on YouTube, thank you very much for coming. Seriously, thank you. It means a lot to me, and I love your comments. I always look forward to reading, reading them, and I hope you've enjoyed today's video, even though I did give you a lecture, which I'm really sorry about. I yeah, sorry, sorry guys. Anyway, um, everybody be okay and remember just take care and really be kind to each other. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.